Number 16. This is 1973 as Canada of dollar in PR64 ultra cameo condition. Multi struck mint error coin. A spectacular proof Canada of dollar error showing the planchette expanded from multiple strikes out of color. All design elements and border legends are visible moderately center on the planchette. This deeply reflective piece is sharply detailed and brilliant, showing strong contrast in addition to the visual interest of the error. Only a few faint hairlines prevent an even finer designation. It was sold for $3,120. Number 15, 1963 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps. Whereas the 1963 D. Jefferson Nickel is plentiful without full steps, it's rare in any grade with them. Both sides of this gem are brilliant, nickel gray with scintillating satin luster. Most importantly, the steps of Monticello are completely delineated. It was sold for $3,360. Number 14, this is 1937 Washington Quarter with double diverse, graded in mint state 64 by NGC. After initial flourish of economic recovery during 1934-1936, the United States slipped back into a short but nasty recession in 1937-38, and this reduced commercial activity was reflected in lower mintage. The Philadelphia Mint coin fewer than half the number of quarter dollars coined the previous year, though. This issue remains plentiful in grades through MS66. Higher certified coins are available in limited numbers and priced accordingly. Two nice double diverse varieties are known for this issue. The first being prominent enough to be illustrated and priced in popular catalogs. This gem was sold for $4,443.75 with buyer's fee. Number 13, 1992 D. Lincoln Sent in superb gem condition, graded as MS69 red by PCGS. This pinkish orange superb gem is at the threshold of the numismatic perfection, bright, lustrous, and smooth, an exquisite example of both the issue and type. It ended up selling for $4,600. Number 12, 1976 S. Jefferson Nichols struck on a wrong planchet, graded as PR68 red ultra cameo by NGC. With weight of 3.1 grams, this proof nickel was impressed on Lincoln sand planchet. Rich copper orange hues adorn the liquid like mirrors, while the sharp frosty central devices display stark contrast. Neither side has a mentionable blemish. It was sold for $4,800. Yet another error coin, 1973D Kennedy of dollar double struck, graded in mean state 62 by PCGS. Due to rotation of the planchette, the second strike was 10% of center, creating such twin Kennedy's effect on obverse. This error coin was sold for $4,800. Number 10, this is 1961 Roosevelt time with attractive toning, graded in mean state 67 plus full bands by PCGS. According to NGC, starting these years and lasting through the early years of clad coinage, mintage rose dramatically in response to a growing shortage of coins. It ultimately turned out there were enough coins to go around, but they were not being returned to circulation in a timely manner by coin operated businesses. The 1961 P dimes were hoarded in, in back quantities, though a certain percentage of these pieces were melted during the periods when their bullion value greatly exceeded their numismatic value. Certified examples are plentiful through MS67, but examples having full torch or full band details are in very short supply. This rarity was sold for $5,006.25 with buyer's fee. Number 9. This is 1985 D. Lincoln Sentinel MS69 red condition, a beautiful superb gem with dominant pinkish red luster and even lighter pale lilac highlights here and there at the rims. There is not even a single distracting blemish and the surfaces are all but perfect. This very low pop penny ended up selling for $5635. This is 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps. 
famous D over D repunched mint mark variety. The D mint mark was punched into the reverse die twice, first at an errant 90 degree rotation, and then corrected upright. This variety is popular and scarce in high grade. The present full steps example displays lovely frost luster and just a tinge of light golden toning. No distracting abrasions are seen. It was sold for $5,760. Number 7. This is 1969 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 red condition. A bit hazy in appearance, yet still dominated by extremely vivid medium red luster. There are no detracting blemishes, as one should expect at the superb gem level of preservation. It was sold for $5,750. Number 6. This is 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 plus condition. Sheer quality of preservation is what earns this coin the distinction. The proof of 1961 nickel is generally plentiful, although pieces in the lofty PR68 grade are notably rare. Vivid multicolor toning across each side complements the reflective fields and sharp satiny devices delivering eye appeal that upholds its grade. It was sold for $7,800. Number 5. Here is 1912 D. Lincoln Sentinel MS66 red condition. CAC proven excellent gem. A semi key date coin in the lower grades. The 1912 D emerged as a major condition rear turbo MS65 red level. Adorned with even original pinkish red luster, the surfaces are softly frosted in texture and devoid of grade limiting blemishes. It was sold for $8,625. Number 4. This is 1917 Lincoln Scent with double die verse. Both sides of this delightful 1917 double die scent displays vibrant golden orange luster. The surfaces have an overall smooth satiny texture that highlights a razor sharp strike. A few extremely faint and easily overlooked fly specks on the obverse are all that seem to preclude a full gem rating. This is one of the most pronounced double diverse varieties in the Lincoln Sand series with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God We Trust in the motto. It was sold for $14,687.50. Number 3. Here is attractively toned 1939 S. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Grade had been further proven by CAC, according to NGC, the popularity of collecting United States coins by date and mint emerged during the mid-1930s in the response to the several very low mintage issues struck 1930-1933 that had already gained premiums. Hoping for lightning to strike twice, speculators routinely saved fresh rolls of new coins for decades afterwards. This has assured that a relatively low mintage coin such as 1939 S quarter, which is rare in MS67 grade, and higher. This rare gem ended up selling for $23,062.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2. Here is 1954 Lincoln Sent in MS67 red condition. According to Heritage, the exceptional quality of this coin is confirmed by a review of comments made by David Lang in his reference The Complete Guide to Lincoln Sense. 1954 P cents are noted for their generally poor quality. Most are dark and were coined from severely overused dyes. The reason for both low mintage and the drastically inferior quality of this issue remain unknown razor sharp strike definition and rich original mint red luster support ms67 red grade assessment along with clean nearly pristine surfaces and vibrant luster a great coin with tremendous eye appeal it was sold for twenty-three thousand and five hundred dollars number one and this is 1951 franklin of dollar in pr69 condition this true gem is in threshold of numismatic perfection Proof sales, which had more doubled between 1952 and 1950, rose only slightly for 1951. The quality of the coins improved, though there are still many 1951 proof half dollars coined with only semi brilliant fields. It may be that the dyes were fully polished, when new but lost some of their brilliance after repeated use. 
The standard of quality familiar to collectors in proofs coin during recent decades was simply unimaginable in 1950s. This NGC graded gem ended up selling for $29,250 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Take care.